Hi, everybody. My name is Anna, and this is Core for Everyone at Bluma. So we're going to be doing lots of standing as well as some mat core work that is safe for everyone to do, regardless of where you're at in pregnancy or postpartum or whatever else might be going on with you. So you just need water, weights, and a ball. And let's go ahead and get started. Take the arms up overhead, maybe interlace the fingers take a little stretch each way and then right away get started with a high knee march taking the arms overhead and pulling down to goal post so right away here activating through the upper body and then using the midsection to reach the knee up high pulling it in closer to your body if you can or you can take out to the side a little bit if you have baby on board and need to make a little room in the middle so choose the option that works best for you today. Thinking belly button to spine or hugging baby up and in the whole time. Find your strong breath here, exhaling each time the knee comes up. Good, point or flex the feet. Good. We'll take four more lifts on each side last three here's two hold the arms up right here switch it to a straight leg lift arms pulled straight down to the sides you can take arms out to the sides as you bring them down or straight down in front of your body maybe you take four pull downs one way and then four pull downs the other way so we've lengthened the lever of our leg here by straightening it out. No bend in the knee, which might make this feel a little bit even more intense now on your core. Not here much longer. You've got this. Two more on each side. This is it last one good step and reach step and reach reaching overhead as same side foot steps out to the side picking up the foot tapping the toes on the ground as you take a big reach overhead almost as if you're trying to reach that side wall that feels a little too intense on your core, especially if you're late in pregnancy, you can take it just right up here, a little less side bend. It's a great place to be. So this is wrapping up our warm up here. We'll take another four each way. Last three. Here's two. And one. Shake it out. <laughs> Grab your ball. Let's add our ball in. So step into a wide second position. Heels are in, toes are out. Bend down to one side, doesn't matter which side. You're touching your ball to your shin or your ankle or all the way down to the floor. Then lift it up to the opposite side, straighten out the arms, twisting through your body, twisting on the lifted heel there. Good. Ball comes all the way down. Drawing half an X with the ball. Good. Find the beat. I'll make a playlist available for you. So hopefully if you're into class this far, you've already found that. Or maybe you've got your own tunes on. Music makes such a big difference for our mood. And I find that I'm a runner. I find that when I listen to music while I run, my pace is dramatically faster, all else being equal. If I listen to a podcast, I learn a little more, but I don't run as fast. Let's take four more. Last three. Here's two. And one, find your goddess pose, keeping the heels in, toes out, sitting down. Let's just hold the ball here for a second, talk a minute about our alignment here. So we want our knees for sure behind the toes. 
Ichili tracking right over the ankles, sitting a little lower, tiny tuck of the pelvis. So we don't want sway in the low back. We don't want our booty sticking out. We want everything tucked right under your head. Let's take the ball up overhead and tick tock. So side bend to one side and then the other, similar to what we did in our warm up with the step and reach. So if this feels a little bit too much, having the ball overhead, maybe you take it down to your heart center. Same thing right here. <sighs> Find your breath, heart rate should be up after that last move that we did. So take a moment here, let the heart rate come down a bit. <sighs> if you've lost that tiny tuck of the pelvis, bring it back in. <sighs> Think about the base of your pelvis tilting forward and up ever so slightly. Good. If you need something a little different just to keep the brain active, you're going to pass the ball behind your booty from one hand into the other hand. So whichever side you're reaching toward, the ball is coming down on that side. Feeling this in the inner thighs, those quads, maybe your glutes are all talking to you a little bit here, as well as the core. Good. Find one side, hold and pulse it low, 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 and low. Four, four, three, two, one, pulse the other side. Little exhale with each pulse. Small inhale and exhale here. Breath work is part of the core activation. Last four, three, two, one. Ball comes all the way down in front of the foot or shin. Stand up, draw the other half of the X here. So evening out after we already did this on the first side earlier. Let your gaze follow the ball down to your shin, your foot or the floor, and then as high as you can get the ball overhead, straightening your arms out completely. Good. Inhale as you squat down, exhale as you rise up and turn to the side. Just eight more. This is seven. You've got it. Five more. Four. Three. Two. Find your goddess pose. One more thing here. Option one, sitting in your goddess, reaching the ball out, alternating the reaching hand, reaching just right across the body. We're not twisting. We're just reaching across the body. Okay? Option two, you're reaching all the way across your body to the side wall. You're adding in that twist here. <sighs> One more option. Anyone can take it. If you want to get a little spicier even, hold the ball at heart center. Make it a big twist. <sighs> and actually, <laughs> I shouldn't say anyone can take this option. Don't take this option if you're pregnant. <laughs> You know that already. For four, three, two, one. Come on up to stand. So heel the feet together. Woo! Let's drop the ball. Great point to grab some water if you'd like and swap out your ball for your weights. So grab onto your weights. All right. <clears throat> Let's start with our Goal post arms, and I'll mirror you. We're going to be lifting and crunching into the right side. So your right knee lifts, your right elbow comes down. A little side crunch here. Let's point through the foot and the toes as we lift. So let this be dynamic in both the upper and the lower body, you're taking that right elbow down to meet the left knee or the left thigh. A little teeny tiny micro bend in your standing leg. Good. We're not here for too much longer, but we're gonna continue working that right side 
and just change the exercise. So if you want to get every second working in this class, you can continue with this while I demo the next move and then join in when you're ready. Four more just like this. We're switching to a lateral leg lift in two and one. Arms come down by the side. It's a lateral leg lift. We'll switch to a flexed foot on the lift. Little movement of the arm just to make room for the lifting leg. So you're basically keeping the arm stacked next to the leg the whole time. Good. So your standing glute is probably letting you know it's working here too, but hopefully you're feeling it here and your right obliques as well. Eight more, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Right foot forward, left foot steps back. So you're in a hinged lunge here, okay? So your back foot comes up, your knee lifts, and then step back into your hinged lunge. So come to stand, moving to a bicep curl position as your knee lifts in front, and then step back to your hinged lunge biceps by your ears. Stand up with the knee raise, step into your hinged lunge, arms by your ears. Good. Continue with that combination movement. Again, anytime that we are lifting our leg, our core is working super hard to keep our balance and to lift our heavy limb off the ground. So it's like secret core work here. We'll take four more just like this. Exhale as the knee lifts. Last two, hold high on your last one right here. Hold it up, take a little tiny lift of the knee, add a little bicep curl pulse as well. Pulse it, lift it, pulse it, lift it. Point or flex the foot. We're here for eight, seven. Hold it up for the next transition. In two and one, we kick the leg forward and then just to take it back to that 90 degree bend. We're serving a platter with our arms. Straighten and bend the leg, straighten and bend the arms. Good. We're almost done here. Eight more just like this. We're stepping back into our hinged lunge on my cue. Last four, hinged lunge in three. Here's two. And one, back into your hinged lunge, biceps by your ears to start. This time, instead of coming all the way to stand, we're gonna stay in that hinged position the whole time. Knee comes right under your chest instead of up in front of your standing body. So because it's a smaller range of motion here, you can go faster. In, out, in, out, in, out, or find the pace that works for you. Five, four, three, Two, come on up to stand, shake it out. Woo! If you want that standing figure four, you're going to take your right leg up and over the left. Sit your butt back and down. You can always grab a wall or a chair here to help. Ha! We're going to repeat all of that on the second side. We're here for another three. Stretch it out for two. And one. Goal post the arms. Standing crunch, elbow to knee on the left side this time. Good. Catch your breath, let that heart rate come down a little bit here. Just a heads up on where we're going next. It's the lateral leg lift, arms come down by your sides. That's where we're headed. Eight more just like this. Last five, lateral leg lift in three, two, and one. Arms down by your sides. Flex the foot as you lift. Good. So we're getting a little bit of a full body workout here. 
but intentional focus on the core. All of the exercises have these balance components and leg lifts that keep your core engaged the whole time. Last four, stepping to the hinged lunge in three, two, and one. So the leg that was moving becomes your front leg, biceps by your ears, you're in your hinged lunge, looking down to the ground a few feet in front of your front foot. Now come to stand with the bicep curl as you raise your knee, take it back, let's do that slow a couple more times, knee raise, bicep curl, hinged lunge. Knee raise, bicep curl, hinged lunge. Take it a little faster now. Find the beat of your tunes or the beat of your own drum. To quote Vivo, love that movie. <laughs> All right. On my cue, I'm going to hold that standing position and take some work with the knee lifted. Eight more just like this first. Last six. You've got this. Hold the knee up in four, three. Here's two. Hold the knee up. Take that little bicep curl pulse, pulsing the knee higher, higher, higher. Micro bend in the standing leg, pointing the lifted foot. We're serving our platter, straightening and bending the lifted leg in four, three two, one, straighten, bend, straighten, bend. Get all the bend out of the knee and the arms as you extend, as you come back to that 90 degree bicep curl position. Your biceps should be pinned in right by your sides. Elbows not coming behind your body. Back to your hinged lunge in four, last two, and one, back to your hinged lunge, biceps by your ears. Now we're taking the knee right under your chest, keeping the hinged body position the whole time. You can take it a little faster with control though. The moment you lose your balance, that's a hint that maybe you need to slow it down. Don't sacrifice range of motion for speed because remember we're focusing on core here. We want to get that knee really pulled up tight into your body. Last four, here's three, two, and one. Come on up to stand, shake it out. Take that figure four on the other side. Ha, ah, ankle up and over, opposite. Legs, sit that butt back and down, hinging at the hips, flat back here. Last three, two, one. Come on down to your mat, bring your weights with you. We're starting with legs up the wall. Weights are at heart center. So come to lay down on your back, legs up the wall. Now everyone start out here, pinning your entire spine down to the mat. So I want every vertebra touching the mat and keep it there. So if anything that I cue causes your low back to lift up off the mat, don't do what I'm cueing. Just come back to this static legs up the wall position, okay? If you're ready for more, one leg at a time, we're gonna take the leg down and back up to 90 degrees. Other leg down and back up to 90 degrees. So I'm not taking my leg all the way down to the ground. My heel is not ever touching or grazing the mat because if I go so that far, I know from experience, my low back is gonna pop up off the mat. So I want you to find your low point, your point of control that works in your body. And then add on, you're gonna push the weights straight up above your chest and take them back down to heart center with each leg lower and left. Find a good beat here. Maybe take it a little faster now. Good. We're alternating one leg at a time. You'll get a chance to take both legs at the same time. Another option is to continue with the alternating. Okay. Two more on each side. Then you take both legs at the same time if you want. 
Here we go, both legs at the same time. For me, my range of motion dramatically reduces when I take both legs at the same time because I know if I go any lower, my low back pops up off the mat, protecting my body. I know I'm still working my core, even if I'm not moving my legs very far. You can move your legs two inches and still get a great workout here. Almost there. Let's take four more just like this. Last three, legs go wide and center into, last one here, legs go wide and center. You can take straight arms out to the side and then straight above your heart or find another option with your arms that's calling you. Legs go to a wide V and then zip up. So you're keeping your legs in the same plane the whole time, they're not moving <clears throat> further away from your face. They're just moving out to the side and back up to center. <sighs> Last six. <sighs> Here's four, three. Last two and one, good. Bend the knees however you wanna get there, roll or push your way up to a C curve. Here you might wanna add that ball back in. So taking the ball behind your low back. Let's start with weights at heart, heart center here and we're moving into our C curve. So most of you, if you've taken classes or online videos with Bluma before, you know all about C curve, but I'll explain it anyway. You're pushing your low back into the ball or the mat space behind you. You put your hands on your hip points. You can feel them curling forward and up or up and in is maybe a better way to say it. So you're feeling this little tilting motion, very small movement. Notice how my shoulders, my upper body really is staying pretty still. I'm focusing on just this lower belly portion my hip points, the base of my pelvis. That's when I'm rotating and moving here. I'm really trying to push as hard as I can into the ball behind me. Everyone take one arm out to the side, straight out to the side. Good. Swing that arm around into the front of your body. Keep the arm straight, no bend in the elbow. Take the weight straight up overhead and back to where you start at heart center. Take that on the second side, other arms come straight out to the side, straight arm. <sighs> Swing it forward in front of your body. Keep going with those little pelvic tucks the whole time. Take the weight straight up overhead. And now back to heart center. We're gonna take both arms at the same time. They go out, they go front, they go up, back to center, again, they go out, they go front, overhead, back to center. Last time, they go out, they go forward. Weights go up, back to center. Here we go, we're lifting right toes, left toes, right toes, left toes. If you wanna add on, you're reaching alternating weights forward, tapping the inside of the shin. <sighs> Good. So push down into that ball or imaginary ball behind your low back the whole time. Light on your feet the whole time here. As you lift alternating feet, reach forward for alternating shin or calf. Exhale with each lift and reach. We're here for four, three, Last two and one last part, toes tap out and in, out and in, toes tap out wide outside the edges of your mat and then back in to center. You're adding on with your arms, they reach in between your legs when your legs are wide and outside your legs when your legs come together at center. Good, can change the positioning of your hands, weights facing, or rather palms facing down. 
then palms facing in toward one another, then palms facing up. Just gives you a little something else to focus on besides your muscle fatigue. <laughs> hold the weights at center, hold your toes wide, pulse down. This is our last move. We're here for eight, seven, six, five, pulse, four, three, two, and one. Good. <laughs> Figure four here, or rather cross-legged position. Oops. Cross-legged position. Let's take hands to the knees. Just a teeny tiny stretch here. So you don't need to necessarily be thinking about pushing your belly button forward, rather just lengthening through the spine. Roll your shoulders back and down. Take one hand down, opposite hand reaches overhead. And then switch that out to the second side. Good, you made it. Good job, everybody. Thank you for taking core for everyone with me again. My name is Anna. Hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.